This video is going to be an image evaluation of a humerus x-ray. So the humerus x-ray has two views normally, the AP and the lateral. So this one is the AP and this one's the lateral. So you wanna include two inches above the shoulder joint and two inches below the elbow joint for both the AP and the lateral. And then also you basically just want like an inch on the sides. So I guess I will start with the AP view. So you wanna get the entire humerus in the picture. You just wanna make sure that you can see um, soft tissue and bony trabecular patterns and that the density is basically the same throughout the entire length of the humerus. You want to make sure that the epicondyles are without any rotation. So they need to be nice and parallel to the board so that there's no elongation or foreshortening um, on one side or the other. The humeral head and the greater tubercle need to be in profile. The greater tubercle should be on the outside. I remember the little saying, it's great to be outside. It's okay if the elbow joint is a slightly distorted just because of the divergence of the beam. It's not going to be a perfect elbow x-ray, but you do want to make sure that you include the entire elbow joint. The lateral view of the humerus. Basically, all you need to do is make the arm so that there is a 90 degree angle at the elbow. You can tell if it is rotated correctly if the... Um, lesser tubercle is on the inner side, the medial side, and the greater tubercle should be superimposed kind of over the humeral head right here. The condyles of the humerus, which are the capitulum and the trochlea, when they are totally superimposed on each other, they'll look like a perfect little circle, and that's what you want in the picture. They need to be totally superimposed, which means that they need to be like perpendicular to the board. Well, thank you guys for watching. 